All right, the second scenario that we're gonna look at is a 2011 Chevrolet Cruze. Now the car here is not as important. Uh, what's important is the type of oil filter this car has. So the second type that you will most commonly see is a cartridge filter like this. So it comes in a box and it often, most of the time, 99% of the time will come with a O-ring that we have to replace and I'll show you how to do that. So the only difference is with the cartridge filter is you won't actually see the filter exposed like this. Uh, these types of filters are in a housing, what we call a uh, oil filter housing. To change these types of filter, you must locate the uh, oil filter housing first, and then we could remove this. Instead of the uh, spin-on filter, which is a bit more obvious since they uh, come in whichever color you buy them, either a blue, white, black, or sometimes uh, orange. So they're kind of obvious to see when you're under the car, or uh, some of them are on top of the car here. But as for the uh, oil filter cartridge, uh, we're gonna have to find the housing first and once you find the housing first um, most of the time uh, not all cars there the housing is located around the engine on top so that's why we must replace it first before going under the car and removing the drain plug the reason why is because the oil filter housing will pull up um, a lot of the old oil so once we remove that cartridge filter uh, the old oil can find itself all the way down to the oil pan and once the oil finds its way all the way down to the pan, then we could remove the drain plug. Okay, so to locate your oil filter cartridge, uh, if you do have one on your car, uh, you could go ahead and uh, do a quick YouTube search or a Google search to find it. But uh, sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not. So we're gonna look around the engine and see if we find a oil filter housing. Uh, they're kind of hard to find because they are a black color, so they will blend in with the other trims. So we'll look around here, and in this car, the oil filter housing is all the way at the bottom here. So most oil filter housing will look like this, a black cap with a hexagon head sticking out. So that's going to be used to remove the oil filter housing and get to the oil filter. Alright, so the oil filter housing is right here, we have direct access to it. So uh, the only precaution to take before um, we remove this one is uh, make sure your engine has cooled down. If you have, uh, if you went for a long drive, the oil will be hot. Okay, and after that, we're gonna identify the fastener. Uh, it's not really a fastener on it, but it is a uh, hex-shaped um, head over here. So we're gonna go ahead and use a socket on it. So the fastener holding this oil filter cap is a 24 millimeter. It's a pretty big one. And now to completely get to it, we're going to use a half inch extension with a half inch ratchet and that will be the best way to get to it. It will give us enough leverage to remove it. So here we go. Okay, once your socket is on it, we're going to go counterclockwise to loosen it. And Okay, now that we've uh, taken out most of the resistance, but with the uh, ratchet, we could go ahead and twist it by hand. So get your drain pan ready at the bottom, and we're gonna use some, some uh, paper towels to uh, catch the oil that's gonna drop. Okay, so that's why we have to remove it first. Um, there's a pool of oil that's slowly gonna find its way uh, down the bottom. So if you do drain the oil first and then go ahead and change the oil filter, then you'll have a, a pool of old oil that's gonna mix with the uh, new oil, so we don't want that. All right, so this is the old oil filter that we're gonna be replacing, the cartridge filter. So as of now, there's nothing holding this one right now. It's only uh, pressed in. So we could just pull it out. So use a paper towel to kind of give you some grip. Oh, there you go, watch the mess. Go ahead 
go ahead and clean up the mess. So there's still a pool of oil inside the oil filter. So we're gonna go ahead and drain that in our uh, oil drain pan. Okay, so before we put on the new oil filter, uh, there is a oil ring that we have, must replace. It's this one right here. Uh, sometimes they'll be blue, most of the time they'll be black, depending on the brand of oil filter that you buy. They'll give you either a uh, blue or black o-ring, such as this one. So to remove that, we're gonna use a pick, and we're gonna go underneath, like so, and pry it out, and then we could remove it. Now you always wanna replace this one because uh, they do go through some heat cycles, and they get dry over time, so they won't seal as well. And if they uh, dry out, they won't seal as well, then you'll, you might get an oil leak. So uh, that's why we always, always, always change the O-ring over here. It doesn't take much, so uh, do it as a precaution. So we're going to quickly clean this oil filter housing cap with some brake cleaner to get all the old oil and some of the uh, d uh, dust and residue off. Okay, now that our oil filter housing cap is nice and clean, we're gonna go ahead and put on the new O-ring. All right, to put it on, it's gonna go in the last slot over here. So uh, put it here and then hold it down with one finger and then you could stretch the rest in place while holding one side. Kinda like an elastic band. And then we want to make sure it sits flush all the way around, like so. And you have to make sure that it is sitting at the last slot on the oil filter cap. If you do end up putting it on a uh, slot above, it won't it won't uh, go in, and you might actually rip the uh, O ring as you're putting it in the oil filter housing. So always, always, always make sure it's in the last slot and it's flush all the way around, like so. So one more thing, with any new O-ring, we're just gonna lube it up with some uh, some oil. So all you need is a dab, really. It's uh, just wet your finger. Uh, I took some from the old oil filter, so that's fine. As long as it's, we just need just a bit of oil and you could run your finger across like so. And now that it's looped up. So we don't want to go in, uh, we don't want it dry, so that could uh, actually rip the oil ring as we're tightening it, and we don't want that since that's gonna cause an oil leak. So with your finger, just dab the oil ring around with some oil, so it's uh, nice and looped up. And now we could take our new oil filter, and we're gonna press it in. So it does have uh, notches on the top and a flat on the bottom. Some oil filters will be uh, perfectly symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which way you put it. Since this one we took out with the flat uh, flat part facing upwards, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put these notches inwards. So they're gonna fit in this hole right here. In that hole here. So once you put it in, you're gonna hear it click. So, okay, and now we could uh, twist it, make sure it's sitting flush all the way. Make sure it's not crooked, um, it's not tilted this way or that way, because then you're going to have a hard time putting it back in. Alright, so our new oil filter is ready to go back in. Everything's tight and secure. The O-ring's lubed up. So now let's go ahead and put it back in the oil filter housing. And with our old oil filter and old O-ring, you could dispose of that, you could uh, throw that in the cupboard. Okay, so to put it back on, we're gonna go ahead and put it on by hands first. So the threads, um, the threads on the oil filter cap could catch the threads on the housing. So we'll go ahead and do that. So line it up. Now this shaft that's sticking out, it's gonna go through this uh, opening over here. falls in place and now we're gonna twist until the thread catches. 
so they're already catching and keep twisting <clears throat> now keep twisting until you uh, meet some resistance and after that when you can't twist with your hands anymore we're gonna go ahead and use our ratchet with the, the extension All right now let's tighten it with our 24 millimeter socket So once you feel that the oil filter cap bottomed out against the oil filter housing, so uh, these you don't have to go super tight on them. Uh, once it's bottomed out, we're just going to go a quarter of a turn more and it, this will be tight enough. And that's it. So we just want to tighten these hand tight. Uh, they are plastic, so you don't want to go super uh, tight on these because the plastic will crack. So once you bottomed out, that's the rule. Once you bottomed out, go another quarter turn and you'll be good enough. So now that we're done on top with the oil filter, we're gonna go ahead and clean the area with some brake cleaner because uh, we did drip some oil onto the uh, other components. So we're just gonna spray some brake cleaner to clean everything off. Alright, now we're going to look at some different types of cartridge filters and different locations where they could be around the engine bay. So here's an example of a 2018 Kia Sorento where the cartridge filter is underneath the engine cover. Next up we have a 2018 Kia Rio with the cartridge filter uh, located underneath next to the oil pan. And now here's me taking apart the uh, cartridge filter and putting on the O-ring. And it is kind of a puzzle on the 2018 Kia Rios. They have a plastic pin holding the uh, oil filter cartridge. So here's me just pulling out the pin and then removing the oil filter. And then after that, installing the new oil filter uh, through the hole and then putting the new pin as well as putting the new O-ring. So each manufacturer will have a different design on how they want to Put the cartridge filter. Uh, this one is kind of questionable. I do not know why they would put a pin to hold the uh, oil filter, but uh, it is what it is. So you're going to come across different designs and uh, different setups. So you would have to take your time just to figure out how they actually uh, go together. So like that, you don't risk breaking anything because at the end, it's all plastic parts. All right. So next up, we have a 2022 Kia Carnival where the cartridge filter is mounted on the side near the passenger wheel. And here we have the cartridge filter cap uh, taken apart. And as we could see, this design has two O-rings at the end. Next example is a 2022 Kia Sorento where the O-ring is actually inside the oil filter cap. So you would have to use some pliers to take out the old O-ring and then install the new one inside. All right, next up is a 2015 Toyota Corolla. So as we've seen with the specialty tools used for oil changes, Toyota takes specific adapters like I showed you earlier but not all Corolla models will have um, this type of uh, cartridge filter. So if you run across a, a cartridge filters that looks like that, then you would have to use the specific oil filter adapter from Toyota. And this type of oil filter cartridge you'll find in some Lexus models. Next up, we have a 2015 Audi A3 with a cartridge filter housing located near the engine bay. And this one is a pretty big socket that we need. I think it is a 32 millimeter. All right, next example is a 2014 Fiat 500C. And as you can see, this is where the oil filter cartridge housing is. And talk about pretty bad design. To access this one, you would have to go between the headlight and the upper radiator brace. So here is my setup, a really long extension with my 3 8 ratchet attached to it. And then with a 27 millimeter socket to get to the oil filter cartridge housing.
All right, last example is a 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 where the oil filter cartridge housing is located underneath the tube that goes to the airbox. All right, so in this scenario, we would have to remove the plastic air tube that goes to the airbox as well as the engine cover so we could access the oil filter housing. And in the case of this Mercedes-Benz, we have three O-rings to change on this uh, oil filter cap. So the first O-ring goes at the bottom, the second one towards the middle, and then we have a smaller one towards the top. And this is what it looks like with all the new O-rings installed as well as the new oil filter.